Okay, there's um, 13 plus one. A couple things I want to point out. Whenever you stop a table saw in the wood, see this curve? It, it'll, it runs the high ch probability of uh, burning the wood. So I'm pushing these through at increments that I can manage. And so you can see there's little curve marks all over. So what I did was I just caused myself a bunch of sanding. <laughs> but this one was a pain. See, if you look right here at the middle, it wasn't a peak. So this whole board, and it's got a notch out there and something broke off there and something broke off there. So this is my one junk board. I have 10 extra, so now I have nine. <laughs> Plus the one I cut short, so now I have eight. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, so I think that either this, the width of this or the thickness of it was, something was off because every one of these, as you can see, they come to a peak. And then this one didn't. And the trick with table saws, if I know most of you already know this, uh, set your saw and do everything you need to do with that cut before you adjust the saw because all the old timers told me, you can never get this all back to exactly the way it was. So don't mess with it. Get it where you want, rip everything, and be done with those cuts. So there you go. So I'm gonna keep this one over here, kind of like extra. I don't know where I might need it. I'm evolving this plan as I go, because this is gonna be similar to uh, the bottom rail. There will be a width, the thickness of the channel that holds the hog wire. And at the end of that, I'm thinking of flattening this out, the width of a vertical, so that this can stay sloped for shedding rain, but where the vertical comes up the side, it'll be sitting on flat. It's a lot easier than me trying to cut this angle to match on a vertical. That's gonna be a tough cut. So I'm still thinking about that. All right, so that's, that's it for this part. And uh, I'll, so I started off like this. Cut off a piece, make a pattern, write down what you did. So that that's my first template. I'm thinking of taking a, uh, I don't have a dado stack, so I'm thinking of taking a uh, cordless router with one of those flat bits and a guide and cleaning out from both sides and leaving myself an inch and a half by an eighth. So it'll sit right on there, we'll see. I'm gonna go try that now. <laughs> 